Hey everyone, welcome to Jam School Presents Legendary Solos. I'm your host and teacher, James Robertson. Today we're going to look at one of the most iconic and influential solos of the 20th century, Eruption by Eddie Van Halen. Van Halen appeared on the LA rock scene in the mid-1970s, and within a few years, the band recruited veteran pop and R&B producer Ted Templeman, and on February 10th, 1978, Van Halen's self-titled debut was released to the world. Using unorthodox classically infused blues and rock techniques played through attenuated and modified guitars and amplifiers, Eddie Van Halen supercharged the traditional sound of rock and roll, inspiring multiple generations of bands and guitarists for years to come. So let's dive into this uh, solo that Eddie does. Um, when I'm learning a new piece of music, I, I tend to want to break it down into smaller pieces so it's more digestible. Um, so I, when I hear this song, I, it really sounds like five really distinctive solos mashed together. So I'm, I'm going to split it into five parts. Um, so the first part, like Eddie's starting off hot right out of the gate. And he's using um, a really simple A minor pentatonic shape. But he's doing the kind of kooky Eddie thing where he kind of spices up a typical pentatonic lick. Uh, especially with the first lick, he's kind of using a, an open string, which most people don't usually do. Um, you know, he's kind of doing the, doing the open B string um, to the flat five here. And it's, it sounds great. So that's the first lick that's that's going on there. Play it slowly. Um, he's also using a, his uh, his palm on the bridge, so it's a, there's a bit of palm muting going on here too. And the second uh, pull off hammer on lick that he does is just a just a really simple sort of eight Dorian shape that he's doing here. So yeah, so that that's really just you know section one, and he kind of interludes each each section with uh, I guess what it's sort of slang called a dive bomb where he kind of just sort of like with a Floyd Rose or whammy bar kind of bridge uh, system just kind of depresses the whammy bar and it just it kind of just it just slacks the strings and it sounds like you know I guess a dive bomb it just sounds like a diving plane or a bird or something so yeah so he uses that to kind of transition the sections. Okay, so section two is, um, it, it's a bit more scalar now than it is pentatonic. And uh, and Eddie's doing this really kind of, you know, like typical Eddie Van Halen thing where he's making it a little kookier now than what you would expect. So he's uh, switching between major and minor scales here, which is a really interesting sound. Uh, it's kind of major and minor. So yeah. That's great. It's just, uh, yeah, it's a really kind of ambiguous and kooky thing that he's doing. And 
what's great about this section is that it's an octave higher now. So it's kind of increasing in intensity. So the, uh, so if you thought the first part was, uh, was fast and furious, it's getting even more so, which is a great, great way to build a solo. Okay. So section three is pretty straightforward. It's, uh, a technique mostly used in classical music. Uh, it's called trem picking. And it's really something that's focused more on the right hand. And it's just taking a note and just picking it as quickly as you can. And it's kind of just a really quick up down motion with your right hand. Um, and yeah, it's a very classical technique. There was a few bands that were sort of doing it like Deep Purple, Richie Blackmore experimented with it a little bit, you know, before Eddie did. But uh, this really kind of became a staple of Eddie's uh, technique. And it sounds fantastic. Okay, so section four is, um, this is an unusual section. Um, I would probably best describe this as a transition section. Um, it's sort of uh, connecting uh, the third section to the fifth section. And I don't really know exactly what he's doing here. It, it, it's cool. But it's very difficult to figure out, to find out exactly what he's playing. I think part of the reason is because uh, he's got the flanger on at this point, And it's it's very um, difficult to, to distinguish the notes here. Uh, it's sort of a combination of trem picking and, you know, hammer on and pull off. So. But it, I, I don't, there doesn't seem to be any really scalar or pentatonic logic to it. It's just kind of, it sounds a bit random to me, but it, it sounds really cool. It's sort of this mysterious uh, thing that's building up to something. So it, it, it's more of a build into the final section. So this is a very unusual section. And I gotta be honest, I don't know what he's doing, but I still love it. Okay. Now we come to the fifth and final section. And uh, this, in my opinion, is the best section. This is the introduction of finger tapping and uh, Eddie just made this an uber famous technique. Um, you know, there was a few guitar players that were experimenting, experimenting with it a little bit in the past, like uh, Steve Hackett from Genesis used it a little bit, but no one, you know, used it like Eddie, like Eddie made it, you know, a thing and it was his main signature technique. And what's great about it is it sounds amazing and complicated, but it's really not that hard to do. I mean, it's, you're using uh, usually the index finger of your right hand and you're creating this sort of uh, really massive wide legato phrase, you know? So it's kind of like you have a giant hand <laughs> and it's, it, it sounds great, you know? And uh, Eddie's really just, he's just moving through, diff through different triads here. Uh, just different major triads. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's my favorite part of the solo by far. Uh, it's not hard to figure out. It's very straightforward. And um, yeah, it changed guitar playing forever. All right, everybody. Unfortunately, we're out of time. But if you like this video, you can join me for the next installment where I'll be counting down the top five solos of the greatest thrash metal band of all time, Metallica. I'm James Robertson, and this is Jam School's Legendary Solos. Thanks for watching.